You epitomize what it means to be a student affairs practitioner and scholar in higher education. You've woven our culture into a warm and caring university community. From the very first day, Jerry was there at my side. I remember that very clearly, despite the fact that that's about 36 years ago now. At some point, I um, got the responsibility to chair the search for the new Dean of Students. Talk about mixed emotions that Jerry was the successful candidate in that process. I listen for a living. That's what I always tell people. One day, Jerry Stein, my friend, comes to me and says, would you leave being a substance abuse counselor and come to the Dean of Students office? And I said, I don't think so. I'm too shy for that. Who's going to listen to the students who drink too much? And he said, we all will. And I love that. And I listen to him. Leadership. That's what I think of when I think of Jerry. And that is Jerry Stein. His love was unconditional. He was our Superman. What I think is really the heart of Jerry is that when you're talking with him, you're the only person in the room. So he is a, a true mentor, coach, advocate. He is the master teacher. Little Jerry's are supplanted in universities and colleges across the country doing the Jerry Steinian sort of leadership work that he has taught us and modeled for us along the way. Uh, everything from the what's a Seawolf, I'm a Seawolf chant that is now synonymous with our university to the formation of our marching band going from 17 people to now north of 200. They really encompass the love, pride, and tradition that you have here at Stony Brook. So the man behind all that was, was you.